Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to show you how to use a shape builder tool with the text tool to combine letters into a logo. So head over to vectorink.io, click on new project, and it'll take you right into the canvas. From here, go to the text tool and add some text to the screen. I'm going to select J and L. Go back to the selection tool and let's make this bigger. Open up the text properties and let's change the font to something cursive. Now that we're here, I'm going to convert this text to a path using this text to path button. And then let's separate it. So I'm going to open up the path properties and separate. Now you notice it just did some mess with the letters here so i'm going to change the color to black because it got rid of the color first off and then it also separated the cutouts of the letter l to get those back all you have to do is highlight the letter and the cutouts open up the boolean properties and hit subtract but that wasn't even necessary because we're going to throw these in the shape builder anyway i'm going to overlap the l over the j in some fancy way like so this is all random none of this is scripted so bear with me until i find what i'm looking for that works and then let's go over here and change out this color palette mm -hmm. that works too and let's highlight both of them and activate the shape builder tool now what I want to do is basically combine them and make it look like the J and the L are intertwined within each other. So I'm going to select one color and I'm going to start with the L letter and start coming around here, missing, dodging the J on some loops, but then overlapping it on others. So here I'll overlap. Let's undo that overlap. There we go. All right. And then I'll let the J overlap it right here and right here. So it looks like the J is coming up and out of the L top loop. And then we'll come back around here. The L is going to come around the J. I'm going to have the J look like it's coming out of this loop here. So we'll bring this here. And will come around here like that there we go and then the j is going to come in overlap under like that that looks cool so let's go to the other color i'll choose a darker color for contrast right, let's zoom in and start filling in the j actually that's a little too dark let's bring it down a little bit that's a little better. And there we go. Then go back to the selection tool. And look what we have. So I wanted to show this to you and show you the power of the Shade Builder tool and the fact that you can just go into a web browser on your computer your tablet or your phone and do this try this out right now export it as an svg or a png and have your own custom type logo so there you go i hope you liked this video do like and subscribe to the vector inc youtube channel for more tutorials and tips and tricks and cool awesome videos that we'll share when we come up with something new so till next time see you later